morning. So today the class is on the shoulders uh, and a little bit of to alleviate the tension also on the neck area. So we're going to, to begin on a sitting position. Uh, you can go with Yavendrasana uh, Sayam or you can go with any, any other pose. And use, I'm going to ask you to really focus on bringing your tailbone to the back. Feeling both seat bones grounded into the mat or into your feet. Engage your ribs, bring them together. So your belly button pushes up and back. And allow this engagement of your core to lift your chest, to lift your shoulders. Bring the shoulders up. And just release them. Bring the shoulders up. And just release them. Last time, bring the shoulders up and then release them. Bring your hands into any comfortable position to start. Make a small movement in your neck, anything that you need just to keep some flexibility through the neck. Hopefully it will be much better by the end of the class. Tuck the chin in slightly, feel the back of the neck growing tall. And inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale deeply through the mouth. Two more. Inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale deeply through the mouth. Inhale deeply through the nose. And exhale deeply through the mouth. Place your heart, place your hands in front of your heart. And today we're going to get, uh, or we're going to work through an intention. So one of the reasons I'm doing a shoulders class today is because I have a situation that is leading me to quite a lot of stress. And every single time I'm in that situation, I notice that I kind of bring my shoulders up and that my neck gets tense. So find if there is anything that puts you in that position. And instead of reacting negatively to that situation or person, use, imagine a lot of light. Whenever that happens, just imagine a lot of light. We cannot really change situations or people or things that happen to us, we can change how to react to them. So let's try to use the class to learn how to react to those situations. Inhale. And exhale, really think about that beautiful light. And relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the neck as you think about that specific situation. So release your hands, open the eyes and bring the hands into a T. So we're going to start use here and feel like there is something on the opposite sides of the hands, so to the sides that is pulling you out. And notice whether your ribs are kind of opening up, flooring up. Don't allow them to bring the ribs in and work from the shoulder blades. Separate your shoulder blades. And try to get really long through your hands. The next inhale is to start making small circles to the back. Make sure the circles are only from the shoulders and the arms, not involving the chest. Small circles. Three more. Now change the direction. Your arms are starting to get a little bit tired. 
But this is the tension that you might perceive when you are in those situations. Stop and once again think that somebody is pulling you from the hands. Once again, be mindful, get the ribs in. Five more breaths here. Put yourself in that situation of distress when you feel that the shoulders are carrying a big load, your neck is tensing, and you bring a little bit of softness into the position. One more breath. Inhale up. Make the hands into a B. Get tall. Bring the shoulders up. Exhale, release. Right, let's start. Let's come into hands and knees. What we're going to do is we're going to do, uh, we're going to use a simple vinyasa uh, from the Ashtanga tradition, from the Ashtanga sequence. And as we go down, as we do kind of our vinyasa on the floor, we work on the on different exercises for the shoulders. It's going to be very simple. So let's start just with a little bit of cut in half. The next inhale, look up, find your calf, and really focus on the shoulders. So the shoulders are going to pull back down and together. Now you are pinching something into the back without pinching it. If you feel actually, if you feel a pinching sensation, you just bring yourself a little bit out of that situation. Exhale, out, separate the shoulder blades, bring the ribs in, belly button up, feel like you're pushing the mat away. Find the space on the back of the spine. Inhale up once again. Really focus on opening the chest, bring the shoulders together, the shoulder blades together, pulling the shoulders to the back. Belly button down, but still engage the core. Exhale. Cut. One more time. Pull the floor away. Shoulder blades pulling away from each other. The ribs getting in. And slowly release. Stay or keep the legs where they are and just start to walk the hands forward. Walk the hands, make sure your buttocks stays on top of the knees or it's a little bit to the back. Look forward, we're going to go about halfway, like we're going into, um, into a katasana, into your puppy pose. If you need, bring the head down and just allow the shoulders to start having some space. As you pull kind of halfway down, just focus on bringing the chest down. Not the arms, not the elbows, the head, the chest down, not the head. And notice what you have to do in your belly and in your shoulder blades to do that. The shoulder blades are moving together. Inhale. Slowly walk your hands back. We're going to do something similar again. This time, bring your chin down in between your hands. Shangara Bhaskar. Keep the hands next to your shoulders. Keep the toes tucking in. And focus again on the sensation into the neck, the lower back, on the chest. From here, release the legs to the back. Keep the hands where they are. Inhale, small Bhujangasana baby cobra. Exhale down. Tug your toes. Go up into downward facing dog. Any way you want or do so. And as you are in your first downward facing dog, focus on how the shoulders are here. What you want in your downward facing dog is to roll the shoulders out, 
So your um, armpits are kind of looking at towards each other in the middle. That is an external rotation of the arms. This really makes, or this really engages the arms. This really engages not only the arms, but the lats. So as you push from your downward facing dog, notice what you're getting engaged. Externally rotate and release the head down a little bit. So your armpits move away from each other. Now, armpits in and back. This is like a cat cow, but in your downward facing dog. Again, release, release the head down. Inhale, push, armpits towards each other, last time. Release, the head goes a little bit towards the hand. Armpits are moving away from each other. Notice that this might give you more space, but it also brings a little bit more pain and uncomfortableness into kind of your, um, your cavicle and the shoulder rotator. The rotator cuff. Now, push away, really push away and notice the sensation. So it asks you to be more involved. It gets your lats involved. It gets your serratus involved. It gets the whole back involved. As you push away, the shoulders are moving away. You have to put more power into the hands. So it might be a little bit more difficult to hold the pose as it is right here, but it is more it's healthier for your hand, for your arms, and for your body in general. Look forward and just walk all the way to the front. Release here, bring your hands against opposite elbows. Just move side to side. Release the hands now. Just shake the arms, shake the arms, bend the, the knees, and you start to go up. Keep shaking the arms, keep shaking the arms. And release. We'll start with our sun salutation A. So, starting at the front of the mat, your big toes together, heels slightly apart. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, look to the front. Make sure your shoulder blades meet into the back. Exhale, release and walk your feet to the back. Find your plank. From your plank, let us start with a little bit of engagement. Push them out away. And again, separate the shoulder blades so that pushing sensation comes also from the rest of the back, not only your neck or your arms. Exhale, bring the knees down, your chin and your chest. Stay curious for one second on top of the toes and inhale forward into a cobra. Keep the elbows towards each other. Exhale, move back into child's pose with the toes tucked. Downward facing duck. Complete the exhale. And once again, focus on your arms. Inhale, push them out away. Exhale, release. Inhale, push them out away. Exhale, release. Inhale, push them out away. Exhale, release. Bring the knees down. We're going to do our first shoulder exercise. So on the next inhale, bring your right hand up. Exhale, press the needle underneath. You can go all the way down into your shoulder or stay a little bit up. Your choice, you can stay also in your elbow. It's a lot. From here, options. Option one, stay here if that is a lot. That is enough for you. Otherwise, bring your hand into your shoulder and start moving to the side. 
that you are open your chest to the side, maybe lift your hand up. Option two, try to find the right um, quad with your left hand. Then from here, once again, focus on opening the chest. Option three, bring your hand up and bring it all the way to the front of the mat. And you just breathe here. One, two, and three. We'll come back here. So don't worry, inhale up, hand up, exhale, release. Tuck your toes down, we're facing up and walk or jump all the way to the front. Inhale, look up, exhale, release. Bend the knees and once again, release the shoulders as you go up. Inhale, hands up right away. Exhale, fold forward and down. Inhale, look to the front, walk or jump all the way to the back. Find your plank. Once again, push the mat away. Bring the knees down, chest and chin. Release a little bit of the tension on the neck here. And tuck the toes, bujing us or a little bit higher up. Exhale, down. Try to pose with the toes down. Now we're facing up. Once again, release and push, release and push. That's when release and push. Bring the knees up, opposite side. So your left arm goes up, thread the needle, bring the hand in between kind of your knee and your hand. Allow the left shoulder to be down. If it's not here, stay here. If it's too much, you can go up into your elbow. Otherwise, options, option one is bring the hand up or into your shoulder and focus on opening the chest to the side. One, two, three. Option two, you can go and try to find the opposite um, tight or quad. Notice which side is easier. My right side was a lot easier. Option three, hand up and all the way to the front. For next, what, the next time to come back here, you can choose from the beginning and stay using the pose or in the option that you want to. Just focus on putting a little bit more weight into the shoulder with the changing hands. I stay here for one second. Let right hand in front of your face, lift, open, and release. Find your downward facing up. Look forward, bend the knees, walk or jump. Inhale up. Exhale down, bend the knees, shake the shoulders, inhale, hands up, exhale, fold forward and down, inhale, look to the front, exhale, walk to the back, find your plank once again, push the mat away, bend the knees, chest and chin. On top of the toes, you can choose to go from here higher up into your Bhujangasana or start moving into a kind of version of your Urva Mugashvanasana, your upward facing dog. Exhale, back. Downward facing dog. Once again, push them out away. Release. Push them out away. Release. Push them out away. Release. Bring the knees down. 
changing the exercise a tiny bit. So this time we're going to bring your right hand into the left corner of the mat. We're going to allow a little bit of weight into the shoulder until we find that it's a little bit too much. It's like you're putting your head down into your tricep. And just notice that there will be a little bit of uh, pulling sensation into the right side of your body. Use your left hand to control the weight that you're putting here. Slightly rotate your chest to make the weight a little bit farther away. You can place your hand, your left hand, a little bit farther away from you. And just focus on that sensation of opening into the side of your body. The pectorals, the serratus, the lats. Can be very pleasant sensation or it can be very um, kind of overwhelming. So find a nice in between option. Get a little bit of effort. Challenge yourself, but don't, no, don't do it, don't overdo it. Last breath here. And breathe. Come back with your hands and knees, tuck your toes and we're facing the Bend the knees, look forward. Walk your feet to the front of the mat. Exhale, release. Bend the knees, shake the arms. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, fold forward and down. Inhale, look to the front. Last time with our Surya Namaskar A, walk to the back. Push them out away into your plank. Exhale, bring the knees down. Chest and chin. And tuck the toes. You can go now into your Uva Muga. Your upward facing dog. Bring the knees down. Go back into child's pose with the toes tucked in. Downward facing dog. Push them out away once again. Release. Push them out away. Release. Push them out away. Release. Bring the knees down. Left side now. Walk your left hand to the right corner of the mat. Your right hand is going to move a little bit outside of the mat. And use the right hand to keep the control into the pose. And don't go down too much. You can also place your hand into a fist, bring your thumb up. That will, that will increase kind of the stretch into the right, into the left side. Stay here. Use the breath to go a little bit more in depth. Notice the release. And at the same time, the tension a little bit into your the right is the lat. The pairs. Basically all the muscles seem to the side of your chest as you stretch them a little bit here. Now release. Come back into hands and knees. Downward facing dog. Bend the knees, look forward, walk or jump to the front of the mat. Exhale, release. Bend the knees, shake the arms as you go up. Now, Surya Namaskar B. We're going to change it a little bit. So bend the knees, place your hands down, measure your Utkatasana, find your Utkatasana, and right away bring the hands into a prayer. Without using kind of your hands to do it, or your hands to go a little bit deeper, we're gonna rotate to the right, try to keep the knees in line, and slowly move down, 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 down into this twisted position, twisted Utkatasana. 
Use the elbow to open the chest. To look up. Maybe release the neck here. It doesn't need to be involved as much. Focus on the trees and the opening on the spine as you do the trees. Release your hands down. Extend them. Inhale, look to the front. Exhale, walk your feet to the back. Find your plan once again. Push them out away. Involve all the muscles here. Bring the knees down. Chest and chin. Inhale forward into upward facing dog. Exhale, knees down. Child's pose downward facing dog. Once again, we're going to move down, but this time first move into plank and really slowly, really slowly start to go down as slow as you can. You can bring the knees down first. Release them into your belly. Extend the arms in the T. We're going to go down first in the right side. We have done this in previous classes. So just bring your left hand close to your shoulder. Just start to move your body towards the right. You can just stay here. Enjoy a little bit of the opening on the shoulder. Otherwise, you can bring your right and yes, your left foot down, your knee up. If you have the space, maybe the other one goes away, uh, goes also into the sky. You can play something underneath your head. For example, if you have your bed, that's fine. You can make a little pillow here. Ideally, we would have more time. We could stay here for a while. We want to uh, just enjoy and focus on the opening of the shoulder. And try to bring the release a little bit more down into your upper back, your thoracic spine, and even your lower back. If the opening is not too much for you, you can also cross your left foot on top of the right knee. Then try to move a little bit more to the side. Wherever you are, start to release very slowly. Send your legs first. Come back into your down facing or your chest down into the mat. Bring the hands on either side. Tuck the toes. We're going to try to push from here all the way up. You can keep the knees down or you can keep the knees away. And we're going to move into plank slowly, slowly, slowly. And we're facing up. Right foot goes all the way to the front of the mat. Back heel goes down. Inhale, go up. Warrior one. Bring your hands into the waist. Release the tension on the shoulders. Now, as we did at the beginning, open your hands into a T. Once again, imagine somebody's pulling you from the side. So the effort comes also from the legs and the arms. Go a little bit lower. You can. Lower. And release. All the way to the front. Your plank. Knees down. Chest and chin. Untug the toes upward facing duck. Ready to move to the other side. Now we're facing up. 
Once again, roll forward. Find your plank. Slowly, 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 slowly. Make your way down into the mat. Open your arms in the teeth. And we're going to move towards the left side. So you can place your right foot down into the mat, right knee up, if you have the space, the left side as well. I don't know where I put my belt, but if you have a belt or a towel close by, you can place your head down. You can also use your hand to make a pillow for your head. And focus on the sensation into the shoulders. The opening of the thoracic spine. You can make it a little bit deeper by bringing your foot on top of the left knee. Very confusing because we're all twisted here. Pull your right knee to the side. Again, find a middle balance between your sweetness, your sukha, and your effort, your sita. Slowly release your foot. Slowly also release the rest of your body, extend the legs. Start to roll, find your way to the mat, bring your hands underneath your shoulders, same thing as we did on the other side, knees down or knee up, Top, toes tuck, and inhale, slowly start to go up, start to go up, start to go up, and downward facing up. Left foot goes all the way to the front of the mat in between your hands, back heel goes up. Bend the knee, make sure the knee is in line with your foot. Inhale, hands up. Warrior one. Now hands are released, bring them into your hips. Make sure your hips are pointing to the front of the mat. And from here, open the arms to the side. This time we're going to make circles to the back. As we did at the beginning, smile. Circles to the front. Circles to the back. And again, if this tension that we spoke in or intention comes back, go to the front. Make five circles to the back and five to the front. And if you find that source of tension that we spoke during the intention use, again, find a way of releasing it, not bringing it into your body. It's a release. Even tension, even issues have a time where they end. Come back into plank, push them out away, bring the knees down, chest and chin, on top of the toes, upward facing dog. Eggs or back, Chinese pose. And uh, we're facing up. We're going to go back into that pose that we were practicing into our Surya Namaskar A, used by pushing the mat away and releasing, pushing the mat away and releasing, pushing the mat away, releasing, pushing the mat away, releasing. One last time. Bend the knees, look to the front, walk your feet to the front, exhale, release. Bend the knees, hands into a prayer. You're gonna twist once again into the right side. And you skip the twist and start lifting, lifting, 
lifting. Open your arms. And inhale up, release. Now, same thing in the left side, changing the shoulder exercise a little bit. The last time we do this. Inhale, find Utkatasana, chair pose. Hands into prayer. Now, once again, we're gonna to start to rotate. Rotate, keep the knees together. Slowly find your um, twist here. Stay into the twist. Slowly release from the twist down. Inhale, look to the front. Exhale, walk to the back. Back, push them out of Knees down, chest and chin. Untug the toes. Inhale, upper facing duck. Exhale, child's pose, downward facing duck. Moving down again. So once again, starting from your feet, start to wave your way forward into plank, plank, and then slowly, 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 the wave goes down into the mat. So come into sphinx now. Just take a minute to be in your sphinx to really focus on opening the chest forward, the shoulder blades come inward. We're going to do something similar to the uh, um, to the needle that we did at the beginning, but into your elbows. So our right hand is going to cross underneath the left arm. We can stay here and just focus on that arm, or if you can. Cross both hands or both arms in front of each other. And just notice your right hand is into the back, left arm is to the front. And bring as much release as you can here. If this is too much for you, you can use again the belt, a blanket, something underneath your head. Or just release. You're going to feel a little bit of a stretch, especially to the right side, to the rotator cuff of your right side. And try not to react negatively to the sensation, even if it's a little bit overwhelming. Find a way of adjusting it and accepting it and creating a little bit of pleasure and a stretch from it. Last breath. Inhale slowly. Bring both elbows together. Chest forward. Release the hands, hands underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes as we did on the other, knees down or knees up, start to lift, lift, lift. Now we're facing up. Right foot comes in front in between your hands. Back heel down. This time we're going to go for a warrior two. And warrior two, we're already in this position of bringing your hands away. So really focus on that sensation, hands away. Somebody's pulling you from both ends of the hand, from your thumb, from your fingers, really far away. And the little exercise we're going to do here is we're gonna push away, we're gonna extend and release. Extend and release, extend and release, extend and release. Last five breaths, extend, release, extend, release. 
extend, release. Now, flip your right hand up, move back, reverse warrior. Find a nice opening sensation into the right side of your body. Hold, go a little bit deeper for three, a little bit deeper for two, deeper for one, smile, round circle, go into your plank, slowly knees down, chest and chin, unplug the toes, upward facing dog, we're almost finished, downward facing dog, passing three child's pose. So once again, the wave for the last time, we're going to lift the heels. Then from here, your buttocks are waving forward. Your body is waving forward. Bend the elbows. Bend the elbows. Go all the way down. Come back into your sphinx. So this time is your left elbow that is going to go to kind of the, the thread the needle or kind of underneath your right armpit. You can cross both elbows, one in front of each other, and stay here. You can bring the hands a little bit forward as well, or you can continue to move the hands away from each other and come down. And for me, this side is a lot easier than the other. So notice if there's any differences between this side and the last side for you. Breathe here. You can bring a little bit of movement, trying to find the place where you find the biggest stretch or the nicest metal is positioned to find something that you want to work on. Then. Last breath here. Start to release. Sphinx forward, release down your hands underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes, knees up or knees down, start to go up. Now we're facing dog, left foot goes forward. Make sure it's in a 90 degree angle, back heel goes down. Inhale into warrior two. And here we're going to do, once again, rotations, rotations forward, rotations back, five rotations each, three times. If you start to get any tension on the shoulders, try to release it by thinking of this beautiful light. Bring into mind that difficult situation that makes your shoulders kind of get cramped and try to release it for last breath. Release it even if you are still into the pose. Back, reverse. Release the tension on the left side. Open it, try to go a little bit deeper. Try to go a little bit deeper and stay for three, for two, and one. Circle your hands forward. Find your plank, your knees and your chest. Down, upward facing dog. This time stay in upward facing dog. Lift your head from your shoulders. Hold here for three, for two, and one. 
breathe. Downward facing dog. We're gonna walk the last time to the front. Bend your knees, twist to the left side, twist it on the other side. I find the twisting to the side a little bit more difficult. Hold into your twist. Now keep the twist into your shoulders, into your upper back, but keep the legs as they are. And start to lift, lift, lift your arms. Stay into the twist. Open the arms and inhale up. And last time we're gonna exhale all the way down, shaking your shoulders. Open your feet about hip distance apart. Hands against opposite elbows. As we begin, we finish. Bend the knees, bend the knees, bend the knees, bend the knees. You can open your feet a little bit wider. Try to find your malasana. Grow for your, from your malasana. Really use every kind of uh, opening that we did on the shoulders here to grow here too. And now slowly release your bottoms down as slow as you can. You can use the hands to bring you down. Hug your feet. Just before we finish, we're going to do a little bit of core. So keep hugging the knees. Come into the tip of your toes here and release the hands. You can stay here. Use the tip of your toes are pointing down into the mat and touching. Option two, so we're gonna halfway and down. Halfway and down. Halfway and down. Halfway and down. Last one, halfway and down. And then hug, hug, hug. Keeping only the toes down. We're going to go for the second one. Option one is stay here. Option two, halfway. Option three, all the way. Extend and down. Extend and down. Extend, down, smile. Extend and down. Extend, down. Last one. Extend, hold, extend for three, two, one. Down. Keep the toes only down, up. Last one. So we're gonna go halfway down and up. We're gonna go halfway or all the way. We're gonna go halfway down with your body, then up, bend the knees, bring the toes down, up. We're gonna do these five times. Up, halfway. Or extend halfway down all your body, feet and head, use hovering from the mat, up, extend, bend, down, hop, three more, extend or bend halfway down, hold, three, two, one, up, bend, down, Hug, two more, hands forward, extend, down, hold, three, two, down, one, up, bend, down, hug. Last one, we're gonna try to keep it a little bit longer. Last for last uh, effort here. Bend the knees halfway or extend. Halfway down, stay here, hold for five, for four, for three, 
for two, for one, forward and release. Stay down into your mat, release down into your mat. A little bit of effort used to finish. You can place your hands in any preferred position into your Shavasana. You can bring, you can open them to the side. You can move them into a 45 degree angle and up, looking up. Like the painting of a human body from Leonardo da Vinci. You can do whatever you want. If the normal course pose is what makes a call for you, that's it. We're going to use our Shavasana to use, remind ourselves of that situation that creates tension into our shoulders and into our back. And maybe use a few minutes that you have here to try to see that situation from another side. To try to understand that person from another side. Maybe it's you who's being judgmental and having an issue. Maybe you can see the situation from another angle where it's not as negative. Find ways using your time in Shavasana, imagine ways in which you can respond differently to the situation. Maybe you can start just by smiling. When that situation occurs, when you pay that person, the first thing you do is to smile. Liberate tension. Maybe the first thing to do is use shake your shoulders. We tend to focus on how we react to things using our mind. There's a lot of things that we do with our body that we don't notice and that are equally important. Start to react with all of you, with your body and your senses and your mind. With a smile, with a shake in the shoulders, with a nice thought. The next inhale, bring your feet together, start to bring movement into your hands and your feet. Extend the arms to the back as well and grow tall. You can interlace your fingers and push your palms to the outside or to the back, making your body as long as you can, releasing any tension. Slowly bend the knees. Bring the knees towards your chest without using the shoulders, without using the hands. 
Sometimes we create lots of tension into our arms by using them too much. Move the knees side to side without using your arms. And you can open the arms. And start using a little bit more of your core here instead of your shoulders to bring you up. A little bit of release and tension into your twist. Last time, release the twist towards the right side. Move all your body towards the right side. And inhale. Start to lift. Come up. Find your favorite sitting position. Go back into that intention that you had at the beginning and see if you found new ways of leading or leading with that situation, leading with that situation. Scan your shoulders, see if you find a little bit of a good release into Shoulders, and the neck. Bring your hands in front of your heart. Be thankful for the day that is in front of you, the opportunities to engage in situations that make us uncomfortable in a new way. We we'll always have a chance as long as there is a new day. And release your hands down, walk them forward as much as you can. And release. Namaste, everyone.